Okay, so just wanted to uh, shoot this video to share with everybody the, the uh, bubble cloner that I made. Um, got an idea off of YouTube and I'm just passing it along. So, you basically make a cloner to multiply a plant from one or just a few plants. So you just take a cutting off of a plant and you get it to generate roots and that's called cloning. Um, it's not like genetic modification or anything crazy. It's You're just rooting a cutting. A lot of people do it in water like cups. Um, this is kind of like that but a l probably a little bit more effective and uh, efficient and you get more clones and I do this in the winter something to do indoor gardening and then come spring instead of one rosemary plant you have many so these reservoirs are just Rubbermaid totes um, I chose them because they're pretty durable and they're kind of flat maybe you know eight inches deep maybe seven so you don't need it super deep I don't think but you could use any waterproof reservoir it just needs to be dark it needs to not allow light or a whole lot of light to pass through pretty dark and then um, in the lids I just drilled these holes and they're uh, fitted with a hole saw the same size to fit this foam insert looks like a Pac-Man and that's where you stick the cutting in you take the cutting from the plant usually from a new growth on the plant but you can use old growth on some plants um, in the case of the rosemary I take the new growth um, sometimes it has a little bit of bark but it's just because it you know doesn't harm the major structure of the rosemary bush when you chop it off with scissors um, so then underneath the reservoir is full of water and when a cutting goes in it looks like this over here just a, a stick and you want you want to keep these cuttings at a depth you choose the depth uh, based on the water level and you want it just above the water level because all these bubbles are coming up and when they pop if you can see they put off little droplets you see them all on these roots well, they're getting stuck on the root hairs and slowly traveling down the major root bodies and that's what they call a uh, aeroponics in a way it's a real simple aeroponics method in here is large air stone and I just try to position it somewhere near the center and that's how that works it's hooked up to this air pump that goes to a T and then it tees off and there's one air stone in each reservoir and you can see down here I just use tap water um, I just let the pH take care of itself and adjust and it doesn't seem to uh, get too much excessive microbial life in it these are rosemary, so they're antimicrobial themselves, so most of them clone pretty good and they don't rot. There's a real slow one there. And this one didn't make it, maybe because it's too far away from the, the bubbles. And then these lights are uh, T5 fluorescents. They're a lot brighter than like your standard Home Depot or Lowe's grow bulbs. They don't really put out enough light in my opinion. I mean you can use them fluorescence, you could use compact fluorescence or anything as long as it's close enough to the plant. So you need to be pretty close. I just suspend this on a string and you can adjust both sides and I made a simple wood frame and then they're all linked together and then this is a LED and it's a uh, red and orange and white and blue high intensity LEDs because plants use bl the blue and red in the light spectrum so they don't really use green that's why they look green they reflect green so you want uh, if you can give them red and blue spectrum it's more balanced and they 
put on better growth. It was a gift from a friend, so I was wanting to put it to use. And then all these uh, couple together, and then go to a, a timer, uh, 12 on and 12 off. And I think that's about it. I'm going to show you how the plants. Sorry about the wobbliness. So these plants are, uh, I'm going to choose one with a lot of roots. Once they're in here, they're, they're pretty impacted. They'll, they'll grow roots into this uh, foam. So what I do is I get some soil and then I'll just carefully remove that plant and then I take with my fingernails and carefully pinch off probably the bottom inch measured by this plant you know it's about yay tall and then I'll make kind of a depression and I'll set its major roots in there and I'm gonna need more soil so I'm gonna pull one out that I had already planted just to show you the depth and I just really carefully pot them up. Or you could plant them directly in the garden if it's time, if it's warm enough. Just right back into the garden bed in the herb garden. So then there's your rosemary and whatever else sage clones good even tomatoes um, a lot of stuff but the perennials are really cool because then you can give them away and spread them around that's what all these will go to is gifts to people and, and uh, they're a pretty hardy plant so it's a good gift being transported around and transplanted so I hope this video helps somebody out there uh, build a bubble cloner and hopefully uh, pass on plants to other people. It's just a tool to uh, propagate plants without seeds and uh, you can make a lot. Good luck.